Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for July the 1st through to the 15th. So we're in cancer season and getting oh so closer to Leo season, which is exciting. But what I get for you, Leo, is um, this image of the lion by the fire in the dark. And it's a sense of trying to warm yourself uh, because it's, I get that you're in the shadow. You're in the last sign before your sign, before your season. You know, you're at the tail end of your solar batteries. Your batteries are about to get recharged once we get into Leo season. But it's like you kind of, there's a little bit of a sense of now is a time for quietness and introspection and reflection and to just sit with some things, which can be a very creative process actually if you're working on something a project or something creatively or something you're wanting to bring in in your life this is where you're kind of letting something marinate it's an energy of just sitting with it and it's just going to be so much better giving it the time you know imagine they keep saying like a marinade marinade so much nicer when it gives it time for all the juices and everything to kind of the flavors to all flow into each other and so I, I think it's kind of like the it's a, a time to just yeah, honour your soul really is the energy I'm getting. Honour where you're at because you're about to go into step into the light once we hit Leo season. But quite literally we've got the hermit card coming in for you. Contemplation and wisdom. Sorry, Leo, I've just got a bit of a cro crackly old throat today, a little bit like the crackling fire I'm seeing where you just um, – in, in the vision I was getting. And look at this cute little koala, the hermit, contemplation and wisdom. This is a great time to be more receptive, to be in the divine feminine rather than the divine masculine because that will come through as soon as we hit the fire. We're, we're in water season, cancerian season. It's a very sensitive season. It's a season where you might want to feel like you're more at it's more of a homebody kind of energy that's coming through with the with this uh, more emotion. There's a lot of emotional energy. We've got eight of crystals, dedication and progress. So this doesn't mean you're not doing anything though. It doesn't mean that you're just sitting there doing nothing. You are. You're marinating <laughs> quite literally. Uh, you're about to make this absolutely beautiful sauce. Uh, you're absolutely, it's going to be delicious, but you're, you're busy, so you might be sitting with things. And we've got page of crystals, ideas and discipline. So this is where you might kind of want to move forward, but this page of crystals is saying stick with something. Uh, yeah, stick with where something's at at this moment in time, like really work on the ideas. That's kind of another thing, some of the ideas that you've got going on in terms of whatever's going on in your life. And yeah, have the discipline to stick and stay with where you are at the moment because it's like part of you will want to push forward. That's what I'm getting with this, Leo. But uh, you could push forward, but the sauce won't be quite as delicious because it won't be quite ready yet. It wouldn't have had that time to marinate. So, yeah, it's you'll end up with a better product if you have that this sense of quietly sitting with it. So, yeah, the time will come, Leo. <laughs> it will, and when when you're ready, it will burst out. But this is what we're getting now. Sword 10, Uranus, Gemini, and one ten Sun, Sagittarius. Both of these are the 10s. They're, they're at the end of something, the tail end of a cycle. And like we're saying, you're at the tail end of your solar cycle, quite literally, where you might be feeling a little bit tired, where you're kind of putting a few ideas or closing some chapters, putting some things to bed, quite literally, letting go of some ideas that haven't worked for you or some belief, deep belief systems that haven't been working for you. So the two tens would say this is a great time for endings because like I said, the beginnings will come, but this is a great time for working on releasing and letting things kind of naturally pass in your life. So yeah, I mean, once like I said, once we hit that Leo season, the sun is going to come out again. So what's going on? I feel like there's too many cards here. They all just went crazy. But we did have the tower, which is like uh, expect the unexpected. There might be something um, interesting coming on here. But let's see. Let's see. Perhaps it's saying this is what the energy is going to do because I'm kind of getting it's like you're very quiet and sitting with something 
and then when you're ready it's like boom okay so I and I feel like that's when we hit like I said Leo season I don't know how many times I have to say that let's get the cards happening let's get the cards happening I'm just getting the right Leo energy into the cards here Four of Wands. Okay, we're saying wanting to be at home a little bit more, wanting to feel really comfortable, bring some harmony in around the home. Crossed by the Six of Cups, you might be feeling a little bit um, sentimental as well. As something you, from the past you don't want to return perhaps or is blocking you. The Star Card, beautiful in your conscious mind. So that's a nice energy to come through. At the base, we've got the Eight of Cups. So like I said, you're sitting with some energy and really realizing what is no longer fulfilling you, which is important. Here you are, the Queen of Wands. So that's in the recent past. You might not necessarily be feeling yourself uh, because it's like Leo's in the shadows. Leo likes to be out in the light. The fire was flickering. So is wanting to warm yourself into some cooler energies around you. But look what comes in the sun. <laughs> okay, beautiful. The sun is coming out, which is fantastic in the near future. We love that. And you're presenting as the Page of Swords, a very open and curious mind. Lovely to come through. I just got to get all these in the right place so we've got room. Energy surrounding you is the hermit, okay? So definitely you're getting a sense of retreat, withdrawal, being a bit of a hermit, the wise old sage energy around you. This is Leo, the queen of wands and the hermit, being a little bit of a hermit, uh, feels a bit restrictive, um, absolutely, because it's not a normal place that you would like to be or a normal state that you would like to be in. And we've got the Knight of Swords. Like I said, when things are happening, they'll happen and they'll happen quick when the energy shifts and changes. And we've got the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is uh, saying that there is something, we're looking at what's marinating here. If we're marinating this King of Pentacles, this is a really good thing to marinate and to be creating in your life or person if this is what you're wanting to bring in because this is very generous energy, very abundant energy. It's like getting your needs met. It's the card of money. <laughs> so we love that. The money man, the money person, the money uh, institutions, uh this is somebody who's very generous. So this could be that you are about to be very generous yourself or you're about to meet somebody who's very generous. But it's it's uh, what's marinating could bring you this abundance or you could bring you this connection with this king of pentacles. It can be like a boss energy. It's not gender specific just because it's a king, um, but it could be somebody that is wealthy or doing really successfully in business, somebody who in a relationship can provide a lot of your needs, you know, a, most of your needs with the King of Pentacles. This could be you just, the, this idea could make a lot, about to bear a lot of fruit, uh, the thing that you're marinating on. So that's why I kind of get uh, stick with it. It's going to end up with a much better result. So the situation is the four of wands. We're seeing the 1111 here. Um, this is very much your element. It's the element of fire, the wands, and it does represent happy home, happy heart. It's like looking at what it is that you truly want in relationships, especially relationships that have a very, very strong soul connection, a soul mastery of what's going on. But this is also to do with just in general what you want in your life. It is crossed by the six of cups. So there could be a sense that you know that you're moving on from the past. There could be a little bit of nostalgia from the past. But this Six of Cups, can its blo energy is blocking you. So there's an energy from the past uh, or a memory uh, from the past that is that is kind of, uh, yeah, perhaps. I mean, it's, it, the Six of Cups is interestingly wanting to bring, I mean, it, it's in the blocking position, but it's a very gentle blocker it's not a doesn't do much in terms of blocking um, but it's very much uh, about wanting to bring harmony back into relationships and we see that with the four of wands that this is a situation that you're really wanting to know what it is that I want and uh, the deeper sense of harmony in your life in your conscious mind, you've got the star, which is a beautiful thing to have in your conscious mind because this is where you're being very strongly guided. You've got the star inside your head going, I've got this future vision of where I want to go to. And so I'm allowing that to guide me in the darkness at this moment where I'm feeling because you are. Here's the hermit with the star guiding. This is energy around you. And because it's next to the queen of wands, which is the Leo energy, this is you, uh, it's a very Virgo and energy. So 
allowing this this little flicker of light, this starlight that's inside of you to guide you through this period and to sit with it. It's almost very uh, highly spiritual and inspirational as well. It's a lovely little light. It's the hope that you pin onto when you're feeling a little bit kind of lower energy. So it's a lovely energy, the star, and it, it can feel like perhaps that there's a need for healing that's coming in. And it's wishes coming true. It's like you might be having a dream or a wish hold inside your conscious mind that you're wanting to bring in here. At the base, we have the Eight of Cups. So this is where, and I feel like this is very connected to the Capricorn, the full moon in the sign of Capricorn. Uh, So this is where you're probably seeing something really clearly that something has ended. There's a culmination and uh, you're finally, with the two tens coming in, you're finally kind of saying no to something or putting an end to something that was taking a lot of your time and energy. So the Eight of Cups is where you've tasted all those cups, uh, cups representing your emotions or how much something's been fulfilling you, and it's been found wanting. It's like I haven't found the thing that's really kind of uh, sustained me. I can see it inside my conscious mind. I've got this vision, but I'm not feeling it at this moment in time. So It's like detaching and walking away from any kind of energy. And this is part of what you're doing is clearing out some old debris of that old solar cycle and getting ready to step into what I'm being shown. And it's not going to, it's not in this reading. It may turn up next time that we step in next fortnight when we're in Leo season is the Ace of Cups. It's like you're releasing some of this old energy to step into that. So in the recent past, we've got the Queen of Wands. This is really nice. This is warm energy. Things were feeling warm. Things were feeling good, feeling yourself, uh, which is nice because it is a Leo energy, uh, very attractive and magnetic energy. There could have been someone around you that you were very attracted to or somebody was very attracted to you. The Queen of Wands, she's very discerning. She knows what it is that she wants. And she's also, like the King of Pentacles, interestingly, a very generous character as well. So uh, it's kind of interesting because one of the big things that you're sitting with is, is this what I truly want in my life at this moment in time? How is it feeling? How wh- How is it affecting me mentally? What's going on in terms of my energy levels? How is it being reflected back in terms of harmony within relationships? So that's a big energy that you're coming through. But the sun does shine for the Leos in the near future. And we do know your season is coming up. So we've got, boom, the sun comes out, your ruler. And there's a breakthrough. There's happiness. There's suddenly getting your vitality and joy back. And so this is going to be fantastic energy. It's going to feel a little bit like chalk and cheese, like I'm in the dark and now I'm in the sunshine and I'm seeing things clearly here. So this is a this is a fantastic energy to come through and it's really just saying it's a precursor to your season which is which is great you know you're going to feel so much better when that happens. Um, uh, you are presenting as the page of swords. So this is a very Gemini energy of wanting to try and find solutions to things inside your mind and I would just say you know it's a very open and curious mind. It's a great time to kind of be sitting with a lot of ideas and waiting and seeing what information is coming to you. So the page of swords is yes, like it's it's ideas, information, solutions coming to you, but it's more of a, I feel like it's more of a receptive, you know, this page has got his ear to the wind, just waiting to see what information is coming through and as to the next direction into where you're heading next. So We did talk about the hermit energy and the energy surrounding you is a little bit quieter. It's a little bit more withdrawn. It's a little, it's wise as well. It's it's a lovely wise energy. There quite literally could be a Virgo around you that you might be connecting with as well. And if this energy is around you, I think that this, I feel like this is a very grounding and soft energy for you. A sense of, it's just nice to know there's somebody there sitting by the fireplace with you in the darkness, watching the fire. And it's a calming presence, a grounding presence. Um, but yeah, the hermit is could be feel like it's uh, for some of you that can feel like a bit of soul searching as well. Like I, I can't see the path ahead. 
uh, because I know I'm walking away from things. I don't know exactly what I'm walking towards. Uh, and that's because it's not the right time. But you will; those things will come. So this is why you're, you're feeling like this, the eight of swords. This is in your hopes and fears, which is just like I don't want to feel like I can't see. I don't want to feel trapped. I don't want to feel like I'm in the dark all this time. I don't want to feel restricted. And this is actually a, like a really about limited thought thoughts or forms of thinking or feeling just like restricted in terms of environmental factors around you and events. So luckily I feel like that's just a fear. So that's not something that I think you have to worry about. I don't think anyone would hope for the aid of sorts, but I mean, sometimes if you do want that, like maybe if you did want to just have your time away from people and you did want to kind of restrict your diary, restrict um, what going out, maybe that is what you do want. Yeah. I mean, it could work like that. Uh, so Action Stations is coming in, the Knight of Action, the Knight of Swords, boom, things start moving really quickly and it's kind of interesting we had that tower energy because this, the sun and the Knight of Swords is a little bit like the tower energy and it's like boom, a breakthrough, things start moving really quickly, especially inside your mind. So that's why there's a lot to do with these ideas that are marinating at this moment in time in your life. Uh, and you'll see that when it comes to your season, it's the time to move forward with it. It's the time to start, you know, it's like you've got an idea, you've been sitting with it, now it's time to kind of write it, do it, whatever this is in your life. It's like, boom, action stations, time to go for it with this Knight of Swords. And so it's like, I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest. It's like, charge, I'm off. And so, yeah, this is why I like the King of Pentacles, because this is a very, like I said, this represents money represents money and abundance and so and also generosity you know it's whatever it is, this is that you are kind of bringing in that you're marinating it's going to be well made it's something very delicious something very sensual like the king of pentacles is like uh, just enjoys the finer things in life so it's very much uh, you know this is something that is of exceptional quality <laughs> that's coming through here that you are going to really really enjoy whatever it is that you're heading towards and you're starting to feel better you're going to start feeling more generous you're going to start feeling like you've got more of everything because suddenly your in energy and vitality is back and the king of pentacles could be somebody coming into your life as well so the king of pentacles can represent um, opportunities for prosperity coming through for you in terms of work, money. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's very, it's a very loyal energy, the King of Pentacles as well. Loyalty uh, is a very important um, energy. And the thing with the King of Pentacles is that it's patient, like it's slow and steady. Um, I've been very patiently moving into this. And now I feel like I've got a whole, I've got a whole heap of things that I need that I can share and pass on to others and be generous with. So it's, it's a nice energy to come through. So I feel like uh, if this is like you're, you're single and you're looking for somebody, this is a really great person to come in. Um, very grounded. If this is to do with career and work opportunities, this is like boom. This could ma this could bring some prosperity and abundance, which is fantastic. Let's see what we've got. It is safe to look within. <laughs> okay, I think we get the message about the looking within and going going through all of this. As I move through layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. What an absolutely beautiful thing to come through because this is it, the hermit looking within and what does it see? The beautiful light of the Leo, absolutely uniqueness that's coming through and so sit with this energy and it's so important. It's like doing so much more than actually going out and doing things in life in the outside world, connecting into this very deep, beautiful space inside of you to your light is just going to give, do so many favours for you when you finally do step into the light of the sun. So this is a really important time of communing with your soul and communing with your spirit. And uh, you can really feel like there's a sense of uh, really uh, uh, self-love and self-value are things that you can come out from this place of shadows with, which is really lovely. So it's an important time. That's the thing. It's a valuable time, Leo, even though it's not your usual way of being. It's it's the saying, make the most. This is the way to make the most of this energy anyway. Let's see what charm we've got. Okay. Wow. We've got money. 
Money, 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 Leo. Money and Mr. Moneybags himself, the King of Pentacles next to the sun. Breakthroughs around finances, money, my goodness. Okay, wow. So this uh, potentially could be some very, very exciting opportunity coming in around uh, the money. We've got the fact that this is kind of, I keep, they're showing me to um, the head of something, a masthead or a symbolic like leadership kind of energy is coming in. So this may be where you're dealing with kind of an established order. So it might be that you're dealing with very high prestigious uh business or family, or it might be that you're dealing with a bank, something that's very established and well-known. This may be something that you're bringing in for yourself. You're establishing a name for yourself or you're you kind of uh, leveling up in terms of the prestige that you've got uh, or your leadership qualities at this moment in time. So yeah, fantastic. Fantastic reading for you, Leo. So um, let's um, take it over to the extended reading and see where we're going next with this. We're going to look further into the future, what's coming in in the future beyond and see the sun comes out. So we'll be heading into your season here. Uh, and this is where I feel like, boom, it's all stations go. Very exciting thing. So we'll see what the Knight of Swords and the Sun card is bringing in, in terms of this, like taking action and finally like moving forward with something and doing it. So this feels exciting and it feels like there's money around it. We're also going to look at the best way to manage and work with this energy because as you know, all energy is about potentials and potentials can be either reached or they can be, you can, it depends how you're working with it. So I'll pull some cards about the optimum way to work with this energy so that you can get the best results. And we'll pull any other extra intuitive messages or uh, clarifiers that we need for this part of the reading or anything else that you need to know. So we're just going to go a bit deeper into it, which is actually going to be nice because I get this sense of going quite deep within and maybe we'll get some very nice messages around what we see deep within. So beautiful. But anyway, we're going to explore this deeper and further into the future. So that's all in the extended reading. Leo, the link for that will be in the description box below. Usually pin it to the comments as well. Uh, and if this is where we're leaving each other, please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. And yeah, I'm on a bit of a high now after this. This is good. So yeah, breakthroughs coming in. Fantastic. So take care, Leo, and look forward to seeing you next time.